Hi, I'm Emily from Rev Robotics, and the purpose of today's video is to troubleshoot connecting a secondary expansion hub to your control system. The first step in the troubleshooting process is to make sure that your cable connections are good. One of the first things you want to check is to make sure that your secondary expansion hub is getting power appropriately. The way to check this is to make sure that your secondary expansion hub status LED is outputting a color. If it's not, you're going to want to check your XT30 connection. To do this, one of the first things you should do is go ahead and check your cable. So you can sort of unplug your cable, go through the process of looking over and checking the connectors and the wiring. Once you've done this and confirmed that it's good to go or the cable seems like it's in good shape, you can plug the cable back in and do what we call a, a wiggle test, which is just wiggling the connector in the port. If you have intermittent connection issues when you do this wiggle test, please reach out to support at RevRobotics.com and we'll go through the process of troubleshooting this issue with you. Otherwise, the next thing you want to check is your RS-485 communication cable. To do this, you're going to plug in your RS-485 communication cable into one of the two RS-485 ports on both the control and the expansion hub. For us today, we're going to use the RS-485 connection or communication port on the bottom of each of the hub's two RS-485 ports. Once you've connected your, the cable, you want to go through your configuration file and check and see if you can see the secondary expansion hub. If you can't see the secondary expansion hub, one of the things that you can do is try changing your port. The purpose of this is if your port has debris in it, that could be causing issues in the communication line. Or you can go through the same process we did with the XT30 connector, which is go ahead and check your connectors and your wiring to make sure that they're in good shape. The next thing you want to check and do in the troubleshooting process is make sure that all of your software is up to date. If you're using the Rev products, you can use the Rev hardware client to ensure that all software on all of your control system devices are up to date. You can click into the update tab on each individual device and just go and check visually to make sure they're all up to date. If you do not have access to the Rev hardware client, you can also use the Robot Controller Console access through the browser to check, your, to check what versions of the software you're on. You can go to the Manage page and just reconfirm that you're on the latest versions of each version of the Control Hub software. Make sure that your Control Hub, your Android driver station device, and your Expansion Hub all have the latest relevant software up to date. Once you've gone through this process, the next thing you want to do is you want to check your configuration file. To do this, we're going to go ahead and go to Configure Robot. And we want to select, in, this, in our case, this Hello Robot configuration at the top because I know that it only has a Control Hub on it currently. We can go to, then go to the Control Hub portal. And in the Control Hub portal, you're looking to make sure that you see both your Control Hub and your Expansion Hub. If you do not see your Expansion Hub, you want to go back to the previous page and at the top of this page, you see a scan button. Go ahead and select scan and click OK to the unsaved changes. This will scan for all relevant devices connected in the system. So go ahead and check once you've done your scan into the portal again. You'll see your expansion hub, hopefully, and then you can go through and configure your expansion hub. If you still can't see your expansion hub, another thing you can do is go back to one of the top level pages and create a new configuration file and check and see if the expansion hub shows up in the portal for a new configuration file. Once you've gone through this process and you can configure your robot, you're good to go and can go ahead and start programming. If you've gone through these troubleshooting steps and continue to have issues, please reach out to support at RevRobotics.com or visit docs.revrobotics.com for more information on troubleshooting the connection with the secondary expansion hub. Otherwise, have a great season and don't forget to like and subscribe.